Persona While building mass-marketed or COTS, COTS software products, there is no direct user base to elicit the requirements. COTS, COTS, refer to commercial of the shelf, like Microsoft products, Facebook and others. Usually the marketing team would get high-level requirements of what they think might be a good base for the software's coming version. Still, you would need a strategy to get into the deep details of the requirements. A persona typically a made-up prototype of a person representing important classes of potential product or service users. We imagine those personas with many details, such as behaviors, workplace, activities, belief systems, etc., to form a more concrete image. The design or use of the product or service is then compared to the persona's needs to determine if it is a good fit. Persona, from its name, is the aspect of someone's character. It is a fictional character created to represent a user type that might use a site, brand, or product in a specific way. Persona is used widely in online and technology applications as well as in advertising. In software projects, personas are created to represent and visualize the end users who will use the system and what they expect from the product. The main benefit of creating a persona is that it keeps the project developers stay customer-centric and focus on the expectations of people who will use the system. This helps the project to stay focused on its goal and keeps the decision-making aligned with the project vision. Let's have an example of personas for a mobile game application. We might create the following persona. Name, Jason. Age, 23. Job, college student. Jason has a bank account where he cannot exceed a limited allowance to spend every day. Money is deposited once every month from his father. Name, Sarah. Age, 28. Job, CEO of a startup company. Sarah transfers money from her account to her company's account. Sarah wants to be notified every time money is withdrawn from any of her accounts. You can notice that you would have to think of small accounts and minimal user interaction whenever you think of Jason, while whenever you think of Sarah, you would have to think of many transactions that need to be analyzed. I've worked on projects where we would have a life-size portrait of Jason and Sarah in our project meetings. During team meetings, you can expect to hear, but Sarah won't like this, or, but Jason won't need that. Trust me, we would dream of Sarah and Jason. Therefore, Persona is a tool that does wonders in capturing project requirements from the customer's or end user's perspective to ensure that the product provides the intended business value. Roles are different than Personas. In one sense, a Persona is usually treated as a monolithic person with a fully formed personality that does not change.